Well, hi, everybody, and good Monday morning to you. Meteorologist Travis Klineski here. Thank you all for watching on this New Year's Eve morning. Changes are coming, and they are coming quickly. Look at the winds out there. This is 7 o'clock, and I know on this recording I don't normally show live weather because some of you don't watch this until later on in the day. But those that are watching very early, changes are coming quickly as a cold front's diving southeastward, and behind that front, winds are cranking up. Sustained winds over 30 miles per hour in places like Broken Bow, North Platte, Ogallala. Look at the wind gusts. 45 miles per hour in Broken Bow, 49 miles per hour in North Platte. We're going to see some very strong winds moving in here in the uh, coming hours ahead. It already feels quite cold off to the northwest. Look at those wind chills below zero in the teens below in Gordon and Alliance. That is on its way southeastward here before too long. Your actual air temperatures. Now, with that front coming through, temperatures are actually briefly climbing in places like Albion, Lexington, and even Kearney has just briefly risen. The thing is, though, the cold air is eventually going to win out. You might see an hour or two behind that cold front with the wind strength and your temperature actually rises a few degrees. You won't notice it much because the wind chill is going to get dropped when that wind picks up. But eventually, the colder air is going to come in and temperatures will plunge in your area. And when you factor in the cold temperatures that are coming in with the very strong winds, the wind chills are going to get nasty later today and into tonight. So wind chill advisories will go into place at noon today for places to the north and to the northwest. Places like Broken Bow and O'Neill, westward and northwestward. Those will go into a place at noon today. They'll go into place for places like Ord, Greeley, southward to the Tri-Cities, Lexington, York. Uh, all of that will go into place at 6 o'clock this evening. They'll go into place at 9 o'clock this evening in southwest Nebraska. And they will continue until tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock in southwest Nebraska or until noon for the rest of us. This means that wind chills will get as cold as 15 to 30 degrees below zero colder, the likely colder the farther north that you go. So nasty wind chills. If you have plans to ring in the new year tonight and it means going out, bundle up, cover up all of your uh, exposed skin, things like that, especially if you have to spend any kind of time outside longer than just a few minutes. Let's take a look at that forecast. We have a series of cold fronts. The second one's the big one that's bringing the cold air, the big shot of cold air into the area. Well, along with that, it's the one thing I haven't even talked about yet. A little light freezing drizzle initially this morning will be eventually uh, replaced by a little bit of snow. Now, some models, not this one, but some have a nice little band of snow sitting up directly behind that front from about the Tri-Cities towards Columbus and Norfolk and back to the southwest towards Phillipsburg, Kansas. We might quick up, pick up a quick inch of snow. And with winds getting very strong later this morning into the noon hour, we're talking about the chance of some blowing snow, so the visibility may drop off. So we may quick up, pick up a quick half inch of snow, maybe even some slightly higher amounts off towards the north. Snow will start to come to an end late this afternoon to this evening, or at least wind down to flurries by that point. Wind staying strong tonight and temperatures plunging into the single digits and even below zero. That means wind chills could drop to as cold as 15 to 30 below, as I talked about before. And then the winds will continue to die down tomorrow, so the wind chills don't become as much of a factor. But the actual cold air is just stuck in place for tomorrow. So your New Year's Day, Tuesday, partly or mostly cloudy and temperatures stuck in the teens for highs. Now, the good news is... The wind chills won't be as bad during the day, especially later in the afternoon. The winds get down around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Uh, we'll get another very cold night Tuesday night, but the good news is this is not a long cold snap. This, the good news is we will start to warm up after that. So let's look at your future temps. Watch how temperatures will initially briefly rise, but then plunge later in the day by 3 o'clock down to around the teens and even some single digits up north. Continuing to drop tonight. Most of us down into the single digits. Some of you a little bit below zero. Wind chills well below zero later tonight. Teens and 20s below, getting close to 30 below. Actual high temperatures tomorrow, teens for highs for the most part, so not a real pleasant day. Like I said, this uh, cold air, it is short-lived. We're back into the 20s on Wednesday after dropping back into the single digits again. Now, that 6 degrees may actually come a little earlier tonight. We actually may see the temperature dry, rise up a few degrees late in the night as warmer air starting to build in. Sunshine helps those temperatures into the upper 20s Wednesday. And then how about some 30s, upper 30s on Thursday? 40s for Friday and Saturday. In fact, I think 50s possible in the snow-free areas where there's no snow on the ground. And we might drop off a little bit then on Sunday with a few extra clouds. A shot of some slightly cooler and back to around 40 degrees on Sunday. Looking ahead down the road, long range, it doesn't look like any significant storm systems on the way. And uh, no big shots of cold air coming in. So while we get this shot of cold air here today, tonight, tomorrow, it looks like we warm it up, and we're going to kind of keep it that way back in the 30s, 40s, and 50s for highs down the road for the next week or two or so. So just a little small cold snap that's coming in here as we wrap up 2018 and move into 2019. So there you go. My final forecast 
for the uh, website for 2018. Thank you all for watching very much throughout the year and throughout the years. And I will actually be back to ring in 2019. I will be back bright and early tomorrow morning. So if for some strange reason you are up at 5 o'clock in the morning, please tune in to KSMB Local 4 Television. I would appreciate that, of course, because I don't know how many people are going to be actually watching myself as well as Alyssa on the uh, show tomorrow morning. But, of course, I'll do a recording here just shortly after 7 o'clock as well, and I'll get that out on the uh, web as well shortly after that. So thank you all for watching. I do appreciate it. Hope you all have a, have a wonderful year, New Year, a safe New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, and also stay warm out there. And you know what? I'll we'll remind you real quick. You know, while we're going to drop down to one degree tonight, it was 14 below for a record low temperature on December 31st last year in Hastings. So it can always be colder. That said, there wasn't much wind or cloud cover with that. If we didn't have the winds and clouds, we'd probably be much colder than that tonight. We'd be down into the single digits and teens below zero. But, but anyway, with that, I, uh, I drone on. So thank you all for watching. Take care. I'll see you all again bright and early on your Tuesday morning. God bless. Bye.